Hello everybody, it's Dr. John, back with more Pokemon Yellow. Um, sorry about the few days pause between the previous and this episode, but I was kinda busy with some other work projects, and so yeah, I kinda had to focus on making those most proper and correct. Which was why I didn't bother to do this for a couple of few days. That's one of the reasons why I didn't do this episode earlier. The other reason is that, well, originally before making this new ep actual continuum. <coughs> Excuse me, something got in my throat there. Anywho. <laughs> Before I was planning to make this next continuation of the LP, I was planning to do a bonus episode. Where I would have shown you, as we can do it finally here, shown you what the glitch Pokemon is that I've been referring to ever since from Peridium Forest. But if you can recall what I said in the Peridium Forest, that being that you should really capture a Caterpie and make it into a Butterfree that can make it a hell of a lot more easier. Well, I, the dumbass that I am, I did not listen to my own advice. I didn't realize to make a several save state hit run where I would have actually got my server self and Caterpie and make it into a Butterfree. He may, mainly because because at the time I thought that was just going to slow down this LP a little bit too much, so that's why I didn't do it. And now I regret it as well. The thing is, without Butterfree capturing one of the of the Pokemon's necessary to perform the glitch and make the glitch Pokemon appear. It's real pain in the ass to catch, I mean, my god. Even Pikachu's Thunder Web is useless. It just keeps getting away and away, so I've been driving myself almost to near punkers with that thing, trying to get that done, but you know what? I'm gonna say screw that. I'm just gonna leave that, that for now, as we still need to come back to the... to Serenity anyway, since, well... Despite that being the case so far, we cannot actually go any further on our adventure so after the next town. We can only advance a little bit, but not too much. So yeah, we need to come back to Cerulea City anyway, and also in the next area, I mean the next city, we also have a chance to, to get away to backtrack a little bit. So yeah, it's really nothing has been lost, and it's actually a lot, a very lot more sensible to do the glitch once I get back to Cerulean City. And from where am I planning to go back to Cerulean City? Well, I'm planning to go back there from the place that we are heading to right now, Vermilion City, on this road that name I cannot now remember. Just gonna save here because this one of the three required trainers here, this guy can be a little bit of a, of a jackass to fight because, ironically, as I've said, been complaining that I didn't catch a Butterfree, I'm about to fight a trainer with an catcher. I mean, Butterfree. So yeah, let's see how this turns out. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Um, good in what exactly? And it's a bug catcher, naturally, and he's gonna send out... Level 20 power free, Jesus. Okay, Pikachu might actually thunder shocking this son of a bitch before he does anything too devastating. Oh yeah, Perilous is nice. Oh, this just got hell of a lot more easier. This thing is really annoying to fight normally because... Mm, because of that! Oh, I hate when it does that. Uh, Charmander, but are frying it since Buck type has a grand weakness to fire. Oh, are you shitting me? Do 
I have... No, I don't have personally. Oh, God damn it. Okay, let's hope for the... I was about to say... Thank you! Oh my god, I... You got... Okay, Pikachu, come out there. I know you're asleep, but hey, at least that's better than nothing. Fuck you and your super... Fuck your sleep, that is too. Come on, I'm missing way too many good shots. Here, wake up, you lazy ass. Already said this guy is annoying to fight with. Fucking Pikachu. Thank you. There we go. Now you go down, you son of a bitch. And Voltaire went up to level 20. Okay. Slam, huh? That's. I actually kind of wanna learn that seems well. Hmm. Actually, is that going to do me any good if I actually? Actually, okay, I'm gonna probably get a ton of guys shouting out that what I'm actually planning to do is absolutely stupid. But hell, it worked out for me last time. So last time I made a practice run onto this game. Him, I mean, so I'm actually gonna skip on learning Slam, and I'm actually gonna teach Pikachu and Pikachu and certain TM soon enough. Oh yeah, crew with the levels. <sighs> and of course, this son of a bitch made it so that I actually kinda need a heal if I actually wanna fight properly against the two other almost as equally annoying trainers here. So I'll see you in a sec. God, I want my bicycle. Okay, back to this road. I know I could have used my potions and everything, but hey, would it have done me any good since I didn't he have pretty much anything to fix my statuses? And also, did I mention that it's incredibly hot right now? My god. I mean, okay, I'm thankful for hot summer days just as much as the next guy, but my dear sweet Jesus, can we get a little bit of wind during the day, please? Oh my god, I'm crying in here. Here, uh, let me see. Uh, unless I go wrong, we actually kind of wanna have we got you right in the front for this trainer. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, don't make me be wrong, unless I go wrong, this chick likes to use the yep, bitchy trainer. Okay, your toast. Toasty Mac Toast. Come on. Oh ho! Critical from the bat. Nice one! Kinda makes up how you suck at the butterfree fight. Well, okay, you didn't suck, Volter. I didn't mean it. I apologize. It's just that sometimes some Pokemon are so goddamn annoying that I forget how much I love you. Another bitchy Pikachu stays out there. Pikachu's kinda getting over leveled compared to the next the rest of our team, but that's actually kind of a good thing because the TM that I'm actually playing the did Pikachu once we've done with these fights. It's, or actually after we've explored the next city a little bit is actually going to be more and more useful the more and more levels Voltaire is going to get And a third PG, didn't you already learn after two that it's kind of pointless? And all of them were level 16, wow! Oh come on, oh paralyzed, okay Quick attack! Bush! Roasted Bitcher!
320 bucks. Uh, not much, but uh, hey, at least you can get one potion from that. Let's see, the next trainer is going to have a set of a little bit more annoying Pokemon, and... I'm uh, just gonna put Charmander in the front, not because he's uh, the strongest Pokemon against the type this next trainer uses. Actually, no. Actually, let's... Uh, no. Okay, let's just keep it that safe here, just in case everything goes wrong. There we go, and... Fight number two. Huh? You want to talk to me? Ah, uh, no, dude, I was trying to walk past you. You came after me. Dick. And he's gonna turn out... Oh, Spiro, I forgot that he starts out with this one. Actually kinda luck happy about that scene. No. Charmander actually stands out. Okay, I take that back. Stands no chance at all if this thing gets radicals. Okay, Volter, get out here and finish this thing off. Yeah, that's gonna help you a lot. Against special attack. Boosh. Next one, oh yeah, Raticate. Ugh. Redata, annoyance times two, almost. Ugh. Raticate, Redata's evolved form. Just as annoying as the other form, only a little bit more buffed up. Wait, on word, little. Ooh, Hyperfag. Come on, come on. Don't grit, don't grit, don't. I swear to God, monkey, if you would have lost that, you would have. Wow, monkey, wow, you really, really, really. Saw that coming. Okay, Falter, get your ass out there. Yeah, I let monkey die, so what? He's not gonna stick around much longer, I'm actually gonna ditch him once we get our next team member. I know, it's brutal, but hey, that's how life works. Deal with it. The end started! You totally started, you dick! Ugh, never mind. Sometimes I feel that every other trainer in the world lacks IQ like me, Pikachu. It's such a lonely world. Anywho. We're here at Vermilion City! And first things first, gonna heal at Poke Center. Now, I'm probably just gonna check around few places in this town for the rest of this episode and then gonna call it the quits, cause I really don't kinda wanna start action yet in this episode, cause otherwise that's gonna be one heck of a cliffhanger. Plus, there's actually going to be a ton and ton of battles available for us, none of them necessarily required, but... Recommended that you do them all, because it's going to be only one-time deal. Well, actually, no, the place doesn't leave, doesn't disappear until you do a certain thing uh, in it, but still, I would recommend just fighting all of the trainers in the place for the experience. Kinda of the same thing that I've said with everyone, every single gym trainer. Now you really want to fight the gym trainers, because once gym leaders are down, they're not gonna fight you ever again. Anywho, this house right next to the Poké Center, you want to talk to this guy, because he's gonna give you... ...relatively useless item in a sense, but it enables us to capture something that's going to become probably one of the biggest tanks in our team. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes. I actually kinda do like to fish. No, seriously, I do. Grant, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. We got Ulrod. Wishing Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to the rivers, go out and land the big one, young one. 
Well, I thank you, eccentric fisherman. Thank you very much. Now, old rod. There's thick. There's overall three rods in this game. There's old rod, good rod, and super rod. Each rod allows you to capture different type of water Pokemons from different types of areas. As long as there's water, you can capture water Pokemons with the rod. But the thing is, with the old rod, the only Pokemon you're gonna get it with it now, let me see, uh, I got space for two, and I have Pokeballs. Okay, I kind of... Hmm. Uh, hold on, what should I do? Ah, uh, crap, I should have planned this out better. Crap. Okay, now I'm gonna stick to my word. Just gonna check out few places in this town that are really, really, really useful, and then gonna call it quits. Any Pokemon capturing and such, I'm gonna leave to the next episode, alongside with a ton of battles. Let's do it like that, so that we can keep this at least somewhat clean. Now here, here's the gym of Vermilion City, of course, but as you can see, there's a tree blocking our path, so there's nothing we can. G there's no way we can get to the gym as of now. However, this I believe it's this house. Uh, yep, Pokemon Fan Club. You really, really, really wanna come here if you. Otherwise, you just want to ignore everything else in this town, including that old rod guy. You do not still want to miss this one. Trust me. So happy! So happy! My god, that's a perfect spot for a reuse joke. Anywho, talk to this guy. I chair the Pokemon Fan Club. I have more than 100 Pokemon. I love them all. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come to hear me brag about my Pokemon? Well, um. No, but something says that I should say yes. God, give me strength. Good, then listen up. My very rapid dash, blah 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 blah. It's cute, blah 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 blah. Lovely smart, blah 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 blah. Plus amazing, blah 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 blah. You think so? Blah 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 blah. Oh yes, it blah 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 blah. Stunning, blah blah blah. Can't do it, blah blah blah. Love it. Okay, blah 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 blah, when blah 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 blah, sleeping blah blah blah, farm and godly blah 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 blah, spectacular blah 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 Whoops, look at the time, I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out, I want you to have this. Bike voucher, woo, be frickity doo Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry, my Vera will fly me anywhere. So I don't need a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Oh, I sure as hell do when it comes to this game. Trust me, bicycle is going to be your dream device from now on because long last we can wait to move a little bit faster than by walking on two goddamn feet. Whew. Okay, Pikachu, let's go. Still so very happy. So happy. Once again, another spot for overused joke. Anywho, that's one of the things I wanted to show. Um, you actually kind of want to talk to this police officer here. Not re required, but. Oh yeah. Just like with Bulbasaur, if we can confess this police lady that's definitely trying to be Officer Jenny, me or or wait, is it actually I kind of forgot? Was it Officer Jesse or Officer Jenny? Wait, uh, crap, I forgot. Anywho, the Officer Lady from the anime. But unlike with Bulbasaur, we don't need to do anything to do with Pikachu's happiness. 
What we actually need to just do is to defeat the gym leader of this city, Sergeant, or is it Lieutenant? Well, Sergeant Surge. Yep, we need to only defeat the gym leader of this city and we get to the last one of the three original starters. Squirtle, my personal favorite. Heck yes. Okay, now, on to the second spot. Oh yeah, by the way, down this dock. This is where the ship that we're Bill gave us the ticket to, as is Anis. Is, and that's basically the place that I said that, well, you really want to fight all of the dozens and dozens of trainers in there because once you go talk to a certain person in that ship and get a certain item, it's going to leave forever and you cannot ever get to fight those fights again. So really important if you want to keep up your experience levels. Okay, done with that, and now... Oh, let's see, okay, the second spot that I kinda wanted to show here that's technically outside of Vermilion City, but hey, it's close enough, and it's really important actually, is this, this little cave here, this is known as Diglett's Cave, now this is really useful, well, for a couple of reasons. One, we can actually get one of the team members first of our final setup from here. I let you make two guesses just what Pokemon that could be. And also, this cave is also connected all the way back to beginning section of Future City. Yup, if you go through this cave, you can actually backtrack all the way down to Viridian and Pewter City, allowing you to capture some items that weren't available to us before. So really, really, really useful. So that was the second place I wanted to show. Now to end this episode in a, a happy note, allow me to quickly go to the Cerulean City back again and get ourselves our pie. Heck yeah, I'll see you just in a second. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here we go. Fuck yeah! So I bought the cursing there. Anywho, at long last, we have a way for faster transportation. Now, go to item menu, pick up the bicycle, I don't know how the heck he... I don't know how the heck our hero got it into his backpack, but okay, video game logic. Put it on, and... Happy music! And look at this speed, hell yeah, this definitely beats walking now, doesn't it? Sad note, it cannot just cycle through the insides of a house. Kinda sad, but makes kind of a sense. Yeah, sense in a video game, that's a new one. Anywho, we finally have a goddamn bike which allows us to mu travel much, much, much faster. Making any sort of backtracking a hell of a lot more enjoyable than it would have been with walking. Heck yes. So, while cycling back to the Vermilion City, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. Episode, I hope you enjoyed it, although there wasn't much going on, just a few battles, and me getting a few items done, and getting this awesome piece of beauty. Just look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Such beauty and speed. I did as I started thinking Sonic the Hedgehog all of a sudden. Huh. Okay, anywho. I think this is a pretty nice height note to call this episode up. So. Yay for repetition. I thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. 
and until the next exciting episode of Pokemon Yellow, when we actually start getting capturing the sun, new Pokemons, and... Oh wait, I just... <laughs> Excuse me, there's actually one thing I... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Save it, save it, save it for the next episode, Johnny. <laughs> just call it up, okay. Until the next exciting episode of Pokemon Yellow, when we start capturing Pokemon and hopefully get started on with SSN. Until that time, Dr. John signing out and saying bye-bye everyone, see you later!